the real reason why people even think about destroying their PC. It's pretty clear the PC might be not working up to the task. So today in this video, we will make our PC run great again. So let's get started. So first of all, let me show you what's the problem going on in my PC. So in the task manager, you can see the CPU is 93% consumed and memory is 57%. These figures are totally not acceptable. So we need to do something. So we're doing a little bit of magic with optimizer for windows. You can see our CPU percentage dropped to about 10% and I'm doing even more amount of work. You can see 71 memory usage and our CPU is managing a very low 10% range. And moving over to the reason why this happens, you can see lots of services in the windows takes up a lot of CPU and memory usage there. So we need to optimize this usage. So heading over to the GitHub page in the optimizer, you can see Helsberg did a very good job of making this optimizer and this tools does it all. It is all one and go tool to make your windows great again. And these are the features you can take a look at it in the details. I'll give link in the description below for the page. Check it out. So you can see in the downloads, this is the optimizer 6.0 exe. Click on it and download this file. So there we go guys, this is our Windows Optimizer tool and we have lots of features available over here. But before going over to that, you can see this is the warning, do not disable print service if you use printers often. <laughs> so you know, if just this happens in case <laughs> your printer might get survived the anger attack. Anyways, moving over to the optimizer, you can see here we have most of the services that Windows automatically runs without your permission. So they kind of consume your CPU and memory all the time. Now wait, before we turn on all of the optimization options, let me go through some of them so you know what are you actually doing. And don't skip to the video because you might miss some interesting facts. So here we go. First of all, enable the performance tweaks, disable network throttling, then disable Windows Defender. If you are using any other antivirus, well, you can do this. Disable system restore. We obviously don't need this. Then disable print service. Don't touch this guys, because I already told you the full significance of it. But this is not my office machine, so I don't have a printer connected to this machine, so I can disable my print service as well. The next one is media player sharing. Well, you can certainly disable this, disable pack service, disable error reporting, disable home group, disable super fetch, telemetry task, office telemetry. And wait, that's not the end of the optimization. You can see this is just one of the tasks among several of them. So just before we apply and restart, well, first we have to tick all the optimization options. So here you can see in the second tab, Windows 10. You can see these are the options now a word of a caution you can't just tick all the options um, because you still have to use your windows in a useful manner so please note the options carefully what you need to tweak and what you shouldn't touch over here so yeah let's go through it moving over to this side you can see this is our volume slider and we might need this someday talking about taskbar color well we certainly don't need this Next one is disable quick access history. Well, quick access, I never use it. You can see this is the quick access tab and this is the history right over here. So you can see all the recent files. Honestly speaking, this task may look very small, but it takes a lot of CPU consumption and things like that. Anyways, moving forward, you can see disable start menu ads. Honestly, this is a very useful feature because you can see in my start bar, I see the ads. Ads like this might tell you to install these games, but this is not cool. I can take up this space and use it for something productive and things like that. So you'd get the idea. What are the start menu ads? Now let's disable it. Next one is super useful dark theme. Comes handy in the night time. Uninstall OneDrive. Obviously I don't need this. Next one, disable the Cortana. 
and remove the cast to the device. Now here choose your options very carefully guys because I, since I don't use Xbox Live, disable game bar, this feature not useful for me so I can simply disable it. So just like that you have to choose your own ones. Moving over to the third tab which is unwanted apps, you can see lots of apps available. So these are basically small applications. For example, uh, take this uh, Bing weather. You can see Bing weather shows you the weather condition in a widget format like that. Next one is kind of a useful in office environment. You know, Solitaire is a built in uh, game. Now, if you want to stop your employees from playing Solitaire, well, now in the office environment, you can do this with the optimizer. So select this and uninstall whatever the things you don't need. So click on yes and that's how you do it. Now I will go through few of them. I will uninstall. So here are the Xbox related applications which I don't really use. So I can simply select those and click on uninstall. And here are some more apps I don't want. So you can see these are the list. Moving over to the startup tab. You can see these are the application which will automatically start when you boot up your PC. So you can select each of them to remove it. You can see app.lux. This is a Google Chrome auto launch. So you can click on this and remove it. Or you can simply click on remove all. So next one is really useful. So you need all of those useful apps in one click. Well, you can simply select a list of those apps, what you need and select the 64 bit version over here. And you can simply download all of those and install it in one click. That is really useful. Next one is a cleaner. This will clean up your system. So these all things are useful so you can select all and clean so yeah you can see this one includes temporary files bsod mini dumps and error reports and things like that the small files which you don't really need in the host tab you can see you can do various ad blocks and other things like that now i'm clicking on this enable ad blocks plus social so you can see all of these websites now you can simply block all of these websites on this IP and you can even make a host file according to your needs and also there is option for restoring defaults. So yeah, moving over to the registry tab, here are some quick registry fixes that you can do to improve your system. In the integrator, you can see you can modify your power menu, system tools and other things like that. So basically you can do hybrid shutdown and other boot options that is not available in normal windows. Talking about the system tools menu, you can see these are the additions you can add in your system menu tools. In the system shortcut menu, you can do guard mode and other interesting stuff. Like and in the options, you can set the theme for your optimizer. That's pretty much it. Now head over to universal tab and apply and restart. That's how you can apply all the changes. And after a quick reboot, you can see my system is performing really well. My CPU usage is in the range of 10% and something like that. And you can see I'm not just idling, I'm doing some serious work. My memory is 73% used. So you can get the idea I'm working, I'm not idling and still the CPU is 10%. That is really good. I hope you enjoyed this video a lot. Probably this video will help you so much that you can improve your PC performance by a lot. So please hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.